Welcome to the Watchman YouTube channel. This channel is all about world news and Bible prophecy, pointing to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There are so many signs that tell us we are living in the last days of Earth's history. The Apostle Paul's description of the last days prove it. One of the descriptions of society that Paul gave us to look for in the last days is that men would be lovers of themselves as we read in 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, and from such people turn away. The Black Friday frenzy, an estimated 116 million shoppers hitting the stores. Bedlam in the aisles of some of the nation's biggest retailers, shoppers fighting over garments at this Victoria's Secret in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Deep discounts triggering a free-for-all, bargain hunters at this Georgia Walmart wrestling over pots and pans, the commotion veering out of control at an Alabama mall, shoppers scrambling for safety as gunfire rings out. ABC's Gio Benitez starting us off. Tonight, those doorbuster deals at times creating chaos. Look at this crush of shoppers in a Chattanooga Victoria's Secret pink store. The stampede over Sherpa jackets, people seen shoving each other, one sales rep climbing on a table to escape the crowd. In a Georgia Walmart, two women fighting over pots and pans, one refusing to let go. But the euphoria over Black Friday shopping turning deadly in Alabama after a fight turned into a shooting at this mall. We've got officers on the scene. There has been shots fired. The shooter killed, among the injured, a 12-year-old girl. But the tragedy in Alabama aside, for the rest of the country, shopping today was mostly peaceful. Long lines of customers at stores from Maryland to Florida to Texas. An estimated 116 million spending their holiday dollars today alone. This year's Black Friday could be the biggest since 2011. In Myrtle Beach, this frenzy over TVs, again one of the deeply discounted big ticket items attracting buyers. The average shopper expected to spend more than $1,000 this holiday season, up 4% from last year. A strong economy helping boost sales here in New York. The Russian Macy's Herald Square starting even before Thanksgiving dinner was on the table. And today, the steady stream of shoppers flooding into stores, not letting up. Now, why didn't you just shop online? Why go through the hassle of this? Because I like seeing it in person and trying it on. Get off of her! Get off of her! Let go! Let go! Stop it! Stop! No! 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 Do that to me! Stop! Terrified shoppers running for their lives. There has been shot fired. Multiple gunshots ringing out in Alabama's biggest mall, packed after Thanksgiving dinner. Let's just buy it. Is it a mob of people running through Sears? A fight had broken out between two young men. One pulled a gun and wounded the other. Nearby police, extra holiday security, encountered the shooter and shot him dead. We were fortunate that uh, that Hoover officer was there. Uh, where he needed to be. But also wounded by the suspect, police say, a 12-year-old girl named Molly. With a bullet lodged close to her spine, medics raced Molly to surgery at a children's hospital. They found none of her organs were damaged and that there was no internal bleeding. Molly's mom wrote on Facebook, she may be able to head home soon. I am so thankful for everyone who helped us, added mom. A holiday miracle, perhaps, amidst the mayhem of yet another senseless shooting in America. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I got it. 
Jesus said this in Matthew 6, 19-21, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Place and I don't want you to go there. We've been reporting on the bizarre phenomenon that seems to be taking place not just in this country, but all over the world. Getting angry at God isn't going to solve anything. Don't no, but dad me, young lady. I done said you can see that boy when we get to church. This is not the way it's supposed to be. we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then Jesus said I will profess unto them I never knew you este ha sido una mañana muy espantosa de un catástrofe después del otro depart from me ye that work iniquity so robes and positions and titles and classifications and auxiliaries and departments and works and paying your tithe and paying your dues will not save you. We are still experiencing the aftershocks of the massive earthquake that have devastated this entire region. But if you want to be raptured, you must be born again. You must be washed in the blood of the Lamb. It's so old. We've all been left behind. <laughs> it's going to be joyful for those who are raptured, but it's going to be sad for those who are left behind. Life is life as we know it. You swore to me that you were going to get yourself together and start coming to church with me. Not today, okay? I'll go with you next Sunday. The signs of Jesus' soon return are so strong now and the evidence is so clear that any person willing to accept the truth can see that the end of the world as we know it is near. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Time is short. Accept Jesus today.